So this is some of the old built buildings. This here blue door would have been a cart shed. You can just make out the um, upright bricks above it on a slightly curved bend area. Steps up to the loft. Look over there, Carla. Mm -hmm. A grinding stone. Yes. But look at that. <coughs> Probably a stable, do stable that would be. Stable used to have a double door on it. <laughs> wow. This is the same Amazing. thing too with a split door. This wood work, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> this is just uh, fabulous, isn't it? And my f father's from a little brick, we had sheds like this. This would be classed as a loose box. And um, all the stables with the big stalls in them. And there's some of the older horse. Um, Memorabilia hanging up in the wall there. I wonder whether they were your last year to saw wood, eh? I wonder. What does people think pigs are doing? They're very clean, they would live in there. It's a little door, and they come out and walk out in the poo in the yard. So you never had to go in there to clean them out. And this one had two. Two little pig styes. All the farmers had pigs these days because that's what the rubbish was given to. What you couldn't eat, pigs at. Before you think about it, folks, we have been given permission to do it. I would never dream of doing it without asking somebody. So we used to have one of those where you kept all the odds and sods that you needed. Put them away for a rainy day. We used to tidy up our sheds, and Dad would say, "We'll tie the sheds up today." And what he used to do is take everything out of the boxes, put it on the ground, and put it back in the boxes. I can never understand that. And the only thing we ever threw away was the things you always needed. <laughs> this would be a potato house by the smell of it. Originally. And the most, in, the most important thing would be a sharpening tool because everything would be manual. Spades, greps, forks, saws, anything that needs sharpening would be done this size. The sharper your tool was the less effort you needed to put into it. This little stone here has done a lot of sharpening by the looks of it. Another little um farm building on the other side of the yard. This water, one reminds me of um, the water trough already. Upper Bella Truy, you know inside there. You know that, that bit up at Upper Bella Truy? Bella Curry? Oh yeah. 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 The, where the animals have got the trough bit inside the shed. Can have a look inside the little shed here. The little barn. Are you going in? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing this would be the cow house. Because you've got two, four, six, eight, ten cows in here would be. And this bit behind the cows is always called the grep which the cows pooed into and I used to do clean it out with a barrett out into the midden. It's my job every morning. Definitely believe that the cows used to be tied up. To be, it's used to be the cows used to be tied up to that little stall there from April from November through to April probably. Let out now and again. You have any problem? Cows is always loving in the wintertime because it's the warmest place in, in there. 
whole farm. All steps going up to the loft above. I think going up them every day to get a bale of straw or a sack. Never thought of uh, the tie bay to be under the stairs. Never Still, seen that before. Used to always do it like that. Hmm. Lovely little two bay Dutch barn. I mean, up here, maybe since they bought the farm, I reckon. Well, today's little escapade is on a place called Balaspet, which is in Patrick. And we're looking for two little ruins on the hillside. First frost of the winter. I don't fancy jumping into that. You can just see the white frost on the ground. At least it's not raining, Carla. At least I could be thinking of better things to do on my birthday. What? You know how to woo me, don't you? Got your flowers and a card. Dead flowers. You're never satisfied. <laughs> well, I'm so, tired already. So this is a first for both of us really, because neither of us have found or been to these ruins. Sits up on the top of Slewalian somewhere. Are we going up all the way around that way? I think so. <sighs> it's owned by Thelma Corrin. His dad bought it in 1950, she says. She's lived here all her life. Retired school teacher from Peel Cloth Workers. Nice lady. Very nice lady. This is private property folks and we've had permission as usual. Oh. Dogs are with us as usual. The track's a meandering track along the side of the hill. If I was young and fit, we'd go straight up, but that ain't gonna happen. I don't think it would make any difference anyway, Ray. Does it? No. It, it, that way is not gonna lead directly to it. I think, going by what I've seen on Google, this is probably the only way, really. If it's the correct, it looks more like a wheel casing to me from yeah. what I've seen of above. It just seems strange to put a wheel casing up there. Yeah. Because I can't imagine there would be any water running into it. It's Carla's birthday today. As she said, I've no... 21 again. It doesn't look a day over. <laughs> I'm not saying another word. Um, I said I'd take her out for the day. She's been really looking forward to this, haven't you, love? Yeah. I couldn't think of anything better to do than get all my winter gear on and trudge up a hill. Trudge. You had a nice weekend. Went to Bright Life this weekend. Nice relaxing weekend. Feel completely refreshed right up until now. And we were reiki Had Reiki for the first time. We both experienced like a LSD trip. It was brilliant. An out of body experience. Unfortunately, I came back to the same body. It was a good weekend, actually. Fully recommended. Food is excellent. It's far too much of it. No, come on. Come. <coughs> One of those rare winter days when it isn't windy, not raining. It's just cool. 
Plowmore's farm runs to about 140 acres, she said. Most of it's very steep. Although Kenny Cool tells me he's road divided and ploughed a few of the fields. I can't believe that. Basically a sheep farm. Place the well before I called Sins. Yeah, I think this is the area where Thelma means to go straight up, or you can go round. So I don't know what you want to do. As long as they're slow, let's go up and head for that gap in the gorse. We're going up or round? Go up there. Oh, God. Come on, dogs. I don't know why I give you the option. I'm going to the pub straight after this. I don't care what you say. It's not really much of a bifty, is it? I've got to cook dinner and everything. I'm not moaning. Yeah. I, can, I can sense yoghurt again. <laughs> Stop playing the poor me. Oh look, we could have took that track there. Sorry. Mushrooms. Are they magic mushrooms? They're toasties. The things I do. We're gonna go around here, Carla. Lost a dog. Be Roxy, she's probably there already. Roxy! Roxy! Legs like jelly. <coughs> Do I drink? Not yet. I'll be joining you in the pub, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, we'll just stop there. <sighs> tell, tell me when we're not, I'm not making dinner, let's just eat at the pub. <laughs> we'll fetch the sausages over and give it to Robin. Yeah, cook us some food, will you? Well, there it isn't. Gordy did say we could use his quad. Yeah, I think Gordon's quite smart really, isn't he? Which on reflection, bloody good idea. Straight up, yeah? Yep. <sighs> All you can hear in this year video is breathing. Houses all the way up here. Unfortunately, people will know we did. For once, love you speechless. That's not nice. Neither are you. It's my bloody birthday. You're aging me by five today. How old am I? 40, 43 today. 
Yeah, catching, catching up with me. No, we'll always have that 30-year gap. I remember when you were down here. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how predictable. <laughs> I'm going to go that way. Oh, I found it. Shit, that was quick. So she cheers up now. Uh, <laughs> we find some stone. Ah, home, crap home. Imagine walking here, home. I know, Every, that's what I'm saying. Well, Every, they just build the house down there. Every day. Wow, this is cool. Uh, well, there's the road. Why don't we follow that road? Stood in the front of the little ruin. As Carla said, it's very long, rectangular, and single rooms with petitions, we guess. There's a telltale little, little sign around the side here which gave us indication of how it was roofed. We think the little stone would be one of the ones for holding the thatch down on the ends probably. <coughs> yeah. Did you see that marker stone, the white one? For the way home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, infill between the two st stones was soil. And we're guessing they probably dug it from here. So sort of doing two jobs. Stopping the water running into the house and using the soil to infill between the other two stones. No windows on the back. No point really because it's going straight into the hillside. What? Bloody hell, why do I follow you? God. That's Carla. Oh. <laughs> this is what's in the middle of it, so we think these areas here <coughs> at the back would be uh, sheds for animals, probably. Just walking over a wall now. There's another wall there. Another wall here. That there is a that there is a stoned up doorway. It makes me think about this one down here, this doorway here. If this was the size it was. Not sure really. Difficult to tell from this opening, but this could have been a cart shed horse or a shed horse, a cart horse shed, if that's the width of it. I'm sure they have horses up here. I'm sure they would. And they walk up here every day. So here we are at Simon. Or Simon? S-I-M-M-O-N is it? Or S-I-M-M-O-N? Sinon. Sinon. Yeah. Not sure, really sure what the meaning is. I'm trying to look, but it doesn't really make any sense to me. No, I could actually find where it meant either, to be fair. I got the information from George Broderick's book on Max Place Names. But looking around this place, because the walls are infilled, infilled with soil, this may have been built before the other houses were built around here. Hmm. It's quite an unusual thought, as far as I can say, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, because it's quite um, rectangular, you know, a long sort long and of... thin, isn't it? Yeah. Which means tends to think they must have put the animals or whatever they had. I thought that because that, <clears throat> that bit's more like a, a shed area yeah. and that's your house. Yeah, I think so. That's a bit close with the animals, isn't it? 
but they'd all be warm, wouldn't be they? Be warm, wouldn't it? Mm. So I don't know who actually lived here. It says something to do with a threshing mill, 60 acres by Caesar Quain. Yeah, that was on the, last bit, the last bit of the farm. Ah, oh, down right. there, so mm. that's not here. No. Oh, right. This, uh, this um, I told, the, the relatives of Max the Builders used to live up here. Oh, I see. Quines. And right. Thelma gave us a photograph of some of their relatives, which we'll add to the video. But we're really not too sure what, what generation. Certainly in the, in the early 1800s, I would have thought. Mm. There's not really a lot to see here. We've found what could have been a well over there it's flowing nicely, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> we always look for certain things because when they build these ruins, the first thing they need is shell well, water, basically. And then they want stone and shelter. And they always have it somewhere near where there's water. So it's quite unused to have water running at the top of a hill. But it is. Mm. There isn't the usual other things though, there's no knife sharpening wheel and no. all that stuff. No, no. And it's quite unique stone like isn't it? It's very small stones. Mm. Then every morning when you wake up, that's your view. But it wouldn't look like this when they lived here. There'd be no houses, no sand pit, no quarry, <coughs> a village of Peel. No power station, cars probably wouldn't have existed. Gonna show them the well. Well, well. As I said when we were talking to you before, they um, they always needed a certain aspect before they built somewhere. And one of the main things they want is water. And of course, the dogs have found the water because they always do. It's still flowing. That's standing in it. It's quite deep over there, so I wouldn't bother. We're not going to go into it, but if you listen carefully, and I shut up. <sighs> do you hear that, folks? <laughs> Just shut up for five seconds. You can hear the water running. That reminds me, I think I need to have a pee. Yoy. And as usual, there's the old white granite to show you a way home. <coughs> Now normally when I do these videos, I only video going to them, I never bother about video when we leave them. But the view from up here is so stupendous. I'm actually going to video a bit going down. I'm going to take this track up over the hill here. This is the side of Slovenian, I believe. Which is hill. Oh, right up my street. Yeah, Carla's writing an elements here today. <laughs> I know most of you have heard the tale of the Witch's Hill, but it's always worth repeating. I don't know whether it's true or not. In the olden days, if you're a witch, or accused of it, they took you to the top of this hill, shot you in a barrel with spikes in it, rolled you down the hill. If at the bottom you survived, you're a witch and killed. But if you died, you're exonerated. You weren't a witch. So it's not much of a joy really either way. That's the shortened version. I seen a picture on Facebook this morning of just the area looking from Timwald Hill to the pub and you know Greens. Mm -hmm. um, and the Slowellian had no trees then. No. Did you see it? Yeah, and Green's used to be a sweet shop. Really? Mm. Mm. Yeah, big massive window, display window. Amazing. 
for those who don't know, Carla works in greens. Well, sorry, she's there. <laughs> Three days a week. <laughs> Hovering about. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, she's that pasty chef. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Penny, what are you rolling in? Come on. We've got a little bit more video to do yet before we finish. Because it's not only about the ruin today. What's it about then? An old spot, a reservoir? No, don't spoil the <laughs> spoil it. It's amazing. This little stone there would show you the way home, wouldn't it? And even the dark would be glowing a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wow. It's nice to be out. Yes, boss. Is that again? Yes, boss. Ooh! Power. I keep forgetting it's my birthday and I should be getting my own way all day. You get your own way every bleeding day. <laughs> no, make... I don't! <laughs> Do I get in? <laughs> Folks, you think she's acting. You must be joking. Your face then, you're, you're like, oh, what do I do with that? <laughs> I'll leave that one in. <laughs> now, if this path leads to nowhere, it's nothing to do with me. It's Grumpy Draw's idea, this one. Grumpy Draw's? Huh. Well. It's great up here, isn't it? And on we go, folks. So while I'm walking along this path, you can through the view. You may not ever get a chance to see it yourselves. You can look through our eyes today. I think we're going the wrong way. What a bleen surprise. I thought we were. Yeah, we need to be down there. I want to see what's up here, though. Nosy cow. So, we've probably gone the wrong way. And now I've got to walk up over the top of the hill and cross the little stream which was running into a reservoir, which is what I'm trying to get to next. A stream maybe called Ballaspit, who knows? Where are we going? That's my darling joins us. Where are we going? I had to go up the top, cross the valley, and down that side. Really? Yep, otherwise you've got to go right back where we came from. What do you want to do? <sighs> Sounds like a long way. Well, they're both a long way, to be honest, but this is probably the quickest way. It's not, I don't... No, nothing you're saying is, is saying anything nice. Give us a stamp again, go. Off. Old all the original gate posts. <laughs> hey, Kayla's not been up here. I don't know. There's been many people up here, girl. To be brutally honest, none of you have seen a sheep. It's 
Uli. So after all the huffing and puffing. Oh wow! There's a bridge. Oh look, it's getting so exciting. We finally made it to the top of the path. Go on across the bridge, Roxy. We had an offer of a quad and I feel she said, no, we'll be fine. Go on, over you go. The walk will do us good. Go on, Roxy. Over the bridge. Go on, good girl. Come on, over we go. Come on, Roxy, let's go. Roxy come hates on. bridges. Roxy, where are you? Woo. Roxy, come on. Roxy. Come on, Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> I That's didn't even get it on video, she's fannying around too much. So weird. She definitely doesn't like that bridge. So this stream that goes down past Belaspit Farm, and we're going to christen it Belaspit Stream. But the experts will tell us what it's really called, I'm sure. She's smiling now, sweetness. Well, you know, I haven't seen anything interesting for about seven miles. What about me? <clears throat> like I said... Don't you class me as interesting? No. Not when I'm in a bad mood with you. Slut. <clears throat> Tough bloody idea and up here. Yeah, well, I was quite happy to go back to the me? way we came, but no use. So let's go up that lovely little path there. See where it goes to. <laughs> Well, I, in my head, I thought it just led straight to where we were going. But it didn't, did it? I can't get girlfriends like I used to. No. You should have kept the receipt on this one. I don't think they'd take this one back. It keeps whining. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then. So we're now going to the other side of the valley. We're going back to where we wanted to go to about an hour ago. We've got to get home because Carl is doing sausages and onions and gravy for tea. It's the sort of girl you've got to have, folks, really, you know. She doesn't want to take out the birthday of tea, she makes her own tea. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting that now. I think we need to go down here, girl. What? Oh, no. Don't, don't you want to then, eh? No, go, no, follow me. I've well, we'll been doing that for nearly two hours. Yeah, but look, this is the safe way to go down. Boring. Good news. Just some good news. What's the good news? Your knee's a bit better. Oh, great. I'm happy for you. Did you detect a note of sarcasm there, folks? I'm very happy for you. Down now till, then. Down to your left, then. Yeah. I was figuring that, but there's some stones there. It's a stone wall. Is it just a wall? Yep. Right. Come on, Roxy. <clears throat> Don't walk past things with stones, do we? No, but it was just a big gap in the hill. I'll get a picture of that from up here. Oh, crap. Oh, Ray. I was happy a minute ago. It didn't last long. Oh, my God. I know what we're going to do now. <laughs> I'm not Good going down that way. Go down the way Roxy's, oh, Roxy's gone. She's good, isn't she? She, she is. finds the wells and everything. You can just see the uh, outline we think of the wall of the reservoir, just below that green tree. That's where we're aiming to get to. Is that the way she went? It's not where Roxy went. No, she went down here. Penny, this way. <coughs> so, what do you think of it so far, my love? It's all right. 
the reservoir is more interesting to me than the Fulton. On this occasion. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure. I thought I liked the Fulton because of its age, really, and its situation. Yeah. Yeah, I always like a Fulton, but it's just um, <clears throat> there's not a lot to see. No, but that's probably one of the very one of the very early Fultons. Yeah. Don't fall. God, my legs are like bloody jelly. Woo! <laughs> Penny, this way. I thought that was a potato. <laughs> Bring that home for tea. So we're on our way to the dam. Dam was built in 1932, I think. 1932, yeah. And, uh, Thelma said it was washed away in 1982, but between 32 and the 50s it was roofed in and supplied most of St John's and Patrick. I wonder if there's anything, because if, if it washed away in 1982, it would have made the news. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe we should research the papers. I found in a the, photograph um, of it being built in 1932, which we'll add to the video. And then uh, when this one was decommissioned, which was probably in the early, I don't know, 1950s maybe, they went to use the little dam at Glen May. Remember the one at Glen May? Oh, yeah. That one took over from this one. Ha, wow. <laughs> and that one's now been decommissioned too. Amazing. So after... The zigzaggy path, finally coming towards the uh, reservoir. The bill in 1932 was five five thousand pound, I think. Not exceeding four thousand eight hundred. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you remember something then? Oh, don't get girlfriends like they used to. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, folk, this one's rare. <laughs> yeah. You don't like your girlfriends like you like your meat, do you? No, I like them well done. <laughs> well done and rare. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy my kippers last night, but it's giving me indigestion all bleeding on. Good, I'm still waiting for you to cook food for me. I told you, I'm not a cooker, I'm a heater. Oh. <laughs> There it is. Well, I don't know whether that was the reservoir or not. Well, it looks like it. Oh, well, we'll send the dogs in. That well, looks like wet there. Well, we're going to walk in there anyway. Yeah. Got another bridge to go over yet. The rocks would be chuffed. Yep. We torture Roxy with bridges because she hates them. Should we go that way? Well, I'm reckoning so. See, in the old days, there this land here. This would have been cultivated with horses. Really? Yeah, you know, they would have cut all these bracken with a reaper, kept it all. How would them. they go down the hill? Hey? How would they manage to go down the hill without the thingy running away with itself? They used to have brakes on them. Did they? Yeah. yeah. What, on the but horses? Yeah, oh, on the bloody machine, you <laughs> nicky fucking horses. See, folks, sometimes she's quite intelligent, but not often. <laughs> I hide it really well, don't yeah, I? Skillful girl. <laughs> you have a conversation with her and you think she's stupid, don't be kidded. You'll get these conversations. Is that, is that true? Really? Why, that's interesting. I never knew that. Don't be giving away my secrets. I've heard them all. And you've tried to copy most of them, haven't you? Well, the other night in the pub, I was getting tediously bored, to be fair. Ooh. <sighs> so, uh, where do we think the reservoir may have been, or what could have been? It's in this area, anyway. 
Oh, my God. Ah, oh, water there. <laughs> A challenge for her. Here you go, Roxy, and see how wet it is for us. Come on. Come on, in you go. You can see why they would have picked you to put a reservoir because half the sides are built, aren't they? Yeah. Well, it could be the other side, though. Could be. I want to know how wet it is in there. Thelma said she used to play up on the overflow with a brother, with friends. Yeah? Yeah. Go on over there, Roxy. Health and safety the day, says we. Having a field day, wouldn't they? It's dry. In you go, then. What? Why do I have to go? Go on, I'm doing the video in. Oh. Well, it looks boggy there. What? That looks buggy there. Yeah, I'm not going any further. You can bugger off. Go on, it'll be an action video. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, I'll hold it and you go. Don't be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> You're too quick, you are sometimes. <laughs> uh, the other girl said that to me. <laughs> now we're a bit stuck here now. Well, we got round the other day. Is it the same sort of thing, is it? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell! There's your action shot. Don't tread on that. It didn't look that slippery when I was there before. Oh, fucking hell. Penny, come here. Keep so, them with you. I wonder if it was down there then. Because we're up here now, and there's that bit. And then this is the bit we walked around the other day. Yeah. More water down there. Yeah, we... No. We're beginning to think maybe this was the reservoir. Because it's like three-sided, isn't it? Yeah. And it's steep. But it's weird, because that looks like a reservoir. No well, unless it was all part above. of the one thing, you know. They, they may have built the wall further down. Mm. We'll go down round and walk down to it, I think. Yeah, we'll go down round. <laughs> Ow, you asshole. I hate these shoes. I have to say, folks, it sounds like I'm going to do a lot of editing on this video. I like to keep you busy. God, I'm getting bloody vertigo. Yeah, keep back to I do oh. as well. I never used to. I know, you're not that tall as well, are you? No, even so, you know. Sometimes I get dizzy when I stand up. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like it. How did I do this the other day? Yeah, it's definitely here, eh? I'd say so too. Well, let's get down there. So that's, we reckon that is it. And they would have uh, dynamited the stone behind us, Luke. Carla, here. No? Uh -huh. That there. That's been blasted. Has it? That stone. Oh, yeah. So they would have used that to fill in whatever they needed to, I guess. So what were you saying before that um, when it when it caved in, if you like, in 1982, yeah. Thelma got locked in her road. I don't know where she did. Yeah, the stones, there's the stone all, from I'm here. I'm surprised that the house and everything didn't get flooded. How much She'd, water? She said the house got flooded. Hey? How her house got flooded? Did in it? Eighty-two, but the stone went down her road and the, the gate up to her gate up to is five foot high, and she said the stone was above the gate. Hell. And a cow, she said, could walk to the top of the gate. It's amazing that no one was hurt, really. Yeah. I stayed. I don't remember it. No, I don't, and I was only two. Well, you should have remembered it. See, I was 30... <laughs> how old was I? God, 32 you would have been. 31. Give us a break, will you? God. Something wrong with you. <laughs> Ah, uh, you, you'll catch me up. Hey? You're catching me up. Never, never catch you up, Ray. 
Even when I meet you in heaven, I'll still be 30 years younger than you. Do you really think we're going to get to heaven? I might. You'll only be in heaven if there's a pub there, you will be. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Do you want a drink? Hot chocolate would be nice now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me bum! <laughs> As she bravely traverses the stones. Oh, I've got a wet ass now. She's got a wet ass now. Oh, you're bloody videoing. You... You're supposed to help me, not video. The viewers are looking. Wah! What's that stone there? <laughs> that seems like a good way down to me, love. What? That seems like the best way down. <laughs> You're mean. I'd get down your hands and knees if I was you. Just like last night. <laughs> oh, you bum. You're nearly there. Thanks. Which way are you going? Well, not, oh, probably the same way you're gone. Right, so we've now made the bottom. Uh, we're going to go up and see if we can see the reservoir from the bottom. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Can I give you a birthday kiss then? Oh, Ray, you haven't. Oh, you haven't. Ooh, no tongs. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Don't fill my bum, it's wet. That looks like you've got a serious problem, to be honest. <laughs> oh. Did you have cabbage for tea? It's a good job I don't care. What? Do you have cabbage for tea? <laughs> no, why? It looks like cabbage in the butt. Does it? <clears throat> I must love you. So we're now traversing the uh, track up to the base of the reservoir. As I said, it had a roof over it. I don't know what sort of roof it would have been. I wonder why it just burst. Oh, the power of the water, they go back up the hill, wouldn't it? Be nowhere for to go. Maybe the overflow got blocked with stones or something. Yeah. Right, lots of water, funnily enough. Hey, Roxy, how deep is it here? Okay. <laughs> so Carl's going to walk in all around the base of the reservoir and uh, just show you the size of it. You want to start up along there by that tree. And... What? Oh. You've got a wet ass anyway. Come on, Roxy, you go first. Come on, Penny. Come on. Hey, look at that. It's like a little sheet of a uh, blanket of green. You wonder why I drink? I'm scared. Just see how deep it is. Where am I going? See how deep it is in there. Bugger off. If I can find a stone, I'll throw it in. So Carla's at the back wall. What height are you, Carla? What? What height are you? What type am I? Yeah. What do you mean? What height are you? Oh, height. Five foot four. Is that in your bra and knickers? Yeah, everything's five foot four. It must be about 60 or 70 feet high then. Yeah, then it's come quite back high. now. So while no, he... Carl is playing with Roxy in the water, just do a bit of a pan around here. I don't know where the actual uh, end of the reservoir would have been. Difficult to say. There's a wall there. Yeah, it's not that deep. I imagine that must have been. Oh my so God! It looks like the water clean would have been feet. diverted into the reservoir and then back out. This stream goes down past Bella. What's this place called? Bella Spet House and Farm. 
said, decommissioned, I think in the late 50s maybe, somewhere about then. Just became a reserve reservoir. Well, that's you need a bath And then now. they went to uh, the Glen Russian Reservoir, which has also been decommissioned. Well, I think we've done all we need to do here, my love. Mm hmm? All we need to do, we haven't we? Need what? one. We've done all we've done, need to do here. Yeah. You happy? Are you happy now? I'm very, very happy. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I show can't it, wait for my surprise. Show us your happy. We're going to get that tonight. Show us your happy face then. See, folks? You see that face, be wary. <laughs> so now we're nearly back where you started from. No, Penny. Go on. Roxy, go. And what an adventure. Carl will never forget this day. Will you, darling? No. Such fun. Just think, though, you've been to a few places where a few people have visited. Yep. I have. <clears throat> Can't wait to do Glen Roy, you know. Oh, that's next year. <sighs> well, it may get done before, but we need to do Glen Roy probably this time of year when the sun's outside the hills. The right. <laughs> Every time there's a funeral, I find some more Thornton to visit. <laughs> Who's funerals today? Roy Galling. I know that name. Where's he from? Balabag. Hmm. A daughter called Diane Galling. Nice man, but quite an aggressive snooker player apparently. If there's such a thing as an aggressive snooker player. Right back to the start. Uh, one of the farm sales that was supposed to be advertised, there was a, supposed to be a threshing system in this place and Thelma thinks it's in the corner of this, Thelma thinks it's in the corner of this field just here. So go and have a look. Oh, is that it there? It looks like there's been a building here of some sort, although now it's a sheep handling system. Down to the corner where Thelma said she thought it was, and it does look like there would be a fashion system here because we just found this big granite boulder over the ground, and um, just if you can see there, the, if you can just see there, there's two holes, and it looks like there's been a shaft going down through them, so yeah, it could have been. I'm telling you what this may be, you know, it may not have been a um, horse-drawn one. What would it have been? Well, there's a stream runs down there, isn't it? I can hear water running somewhere, can't you? Yeah. Where is the water? Going down that way. So, I mean, it may have been water-powered for all we know. Yeah. Hawthorns out and full berries. They say when you get lots of berries, it's going to be a hard winter. They're giving snow soon. They are. That'll be a nice video. You'll be sending me back to the hills then, will you? Yeah. <laughs>